Hey guys, um, today I was going to demo the Bulgarian squat for you guys. At our gym that I teach at, we have a Smith machine, but we have no squat rack. Um, and a lot of our members, myself included, are not a huge fan of the Smith machine. You really don't get the uh, range of motion and stability that you would using a barbell or dumbbells um, free weights. You're just kind of going straight up and down this cable, uh, which doesn't really mimic real life. So how do I hit the glutes without a squat rack? The squat is an awesome, awesome exercise, but there are many ways to achieve a squat. So today we're gonna do the Bulgarian split squat, uh, which is one of my favorites. I do include it in every one of my workouts. I recommend that you do this with no weight first. Just get the balance and the form, the posture, everything down and comfortable, and then add weights and start small. Um, start off with five pounds, then 10, then 20, um, you know, until you hit that, that space where you can do eight to 12 reps, but those, wherever you are, those last two reps are just killer. Like you really don't think you're gonna be able to make it back up. You will, but it's that hard. Um, so at least that's how I train. I train heavier weights, low rep. Um, so I like to use plates or kettlebells instead of dumbbells. And here's why. Um, the, the dumbbells are fine when you start going light if you have five or 10 pounds, but especially the ones at Star, they have the big plate on each end. They get quite clunky. Right now I'm at 35 pounds in each hand and those are big and heavy, they're hard to grip, and they're, they're very clunky. They knock the legs as you're going down. They're just, they're, they're very cumbersome. So I prefer either a kettlebell, which we don't have at Star, or plates. Um, the plates I have at home that I'm in demo with um, are kind of sucky because they've got just a little hole for the bar. The ones we have at Star are grip plates, so they actually have a handle to hold on to, which is better, at least for the 25 pound and I think the 10, I think the five is maybe smaller, I'm not sure. And I think they all have the grip handles. But anyway, they still are much more comfortable than the dumbbell, in my opinion, but find what works best for you. So you have a bench um, at Star Center, you wanna use your weight bench. If, the, if you find the weight bench is too high to start with, uh, grab one of our step benches and put um, three or four risers underneath and start with that. Just make sure that you have your bench up against a wall and it's nice and stable and you're not worried about the bench um, pulling forward or being kicked back. Anyway, uh, you're gonna lose sight of my head for a minute because my screen is only so big, but I'm gonna demo the um, Bulgarian squat. It's also known as the split squat. So here we go. You're gonna come to your bench, step slightly away from your bench. I don't know, maybe about two and a half, three feet. Um, well, probably two. You're gonna kick one foot back, place the top of your foot on the bench. You can curl the toes under. I find this a lot more comfortable. Um, find the, the stride that's gonna work best for you. I like to come out just a little bit. You wanna make sure on your posture that your hinge at the hips is very natural. So as you come down, notice how there's a slight hinge to the hips. So from the knee to the head, I have one straight line. If I were to try to stand straight up, roll those shoulders back and go straight up, I would have too much of an arch in the back and a huge quad stretch, which would not be okay in this position. So you wanna make sure you have that nice natural hinge at the hips as you come down. You can put your hands on your hips or down to your side. Come down, push up through the heel. Come down push through the heel. If you find you're, you're feeling this more in the quads than in the glutes, step it out slightly. Come down, press through the heel. You should feel a nice isolated contraction right in that glute. If you want to add weight, again I like to use the weight plates. These are my plates at home. Um, still okay to grip, but the ones at Star Center are much easier. They've got the handles. I'm gonna position myself, kick my foot back, roll the shoulders back, belly button into the spine, but allow for that natural hinge. Come down, 
press up to the heel. I'm pressing up to the heel to really isolate the glute. One more, come down. If you wobble or lose your balance, that's okay. Just bring it right back. Anyway, that is the Bulgarian squat. Um, hopefully I'll have time to demo some more uh, glute isolators, quad isolators that you can do instead of the squat since we have no rack. Um, but that one definitely is something that's in my routine and uh, very effective. So I'll see you soon.